fun with K-12 lessons. Don't forget to subscribe! Lesson 1. Recognizing Useful and Harmful Materials You use different materials for cleaning, cooking, eating, and repairing. The usefulness of a certain material depends on its properties. There are materials that are durable and therefore can be reused many times. Though there are some that are not meant to be reused, creative and inventive people still find other ways to reuse them. There are also materials that are made for certain purposes only and can be harmful when not used or disposed properly. In order to minimize waste in our own household, we have to know which materials are still useful and which ones should already be disposed. Before throwing away any material, you must first check if it can cause harm to living things and the environment. When is a material useful? Material are considered useful when it serve a purpose. These materials may have properties such as durability, resistance to water, heat, or acid, flexibility, elasticity, and hardness. Some useful materials can also be reused, take for example, a container for any solid or liquid material. When it is already empty, it can still be used for other purposes, as a flower vase, a coin bank, or a house decor. Whether a bottle is made of plastic or glass, it has a property that makes it reusable. When is a material harmful? Some useful materials may also bring hazards. For example, broken glass jar can cause cuts or injury. Toxic substances may also be present in the things you commonly use such as paints, cleaners, fumes, gels, or powders. These materials may bring harm to your health, environment, and other organisms when not used properly. That's why you should take precautionary measures when handling and using different materials. When is a material considered waste? When a material already served its primary use and can be discarded, it is considered a waste. Waste can be classified as biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Generally, biodegradable materials can be decomposed by bacteria or other living things. Examples include fruit peelings, dried leaves, leftover food, paper and the likes. Non-biodegradable materials do not rot easily. Examples are plastic, styrofoam, cans, glasses, and the likes. Waste materials are safely disposed into a landfill. A landfill is a dumping site where waste materials are covered with layers of soil. This is done so as not to pollute the surrounding land. Waste materials thrown in a dump site can be safe or harmful. Safe waste materials are not poisonous or toxic. Some of it can even be reused or recycled. Example of safe waste materials include paper, clothing, plant parts, and food. Paper and clothing can be recycled while plant and food can easily decompose and can be used as source of organic fertilizer. Harmful waste materials, on the other hand, cannot be dumped straight into a landfill. These materials can be toxic or harmful to living things when not disposed properly. Examples of toxic wastes include batteries, rubber tires, and paint. 